everybody, it's Blue Trap for a redraw of my Christmas speed paint, Carol of the Bells, from last year. Once again, this speed paint's also gonna be called Carol of the Bells because, you know, Carol of the Bells. I really love this song. That's in the background currently. Beautiful. So anyways, there is a link in the description to the old speed paint if you want to watch it. I don't recommend. It's terrible. But, so you can kind of see better improvement on my thing. I don't do is So, as I'm doing this, I gave Blue a more energetic pose, more movement into her, because, you know, the old one just wasn't good. And also, I did the background first, because I'm going to start doing that more, doing the background first, and then the um, character itself after, because I watched Lavender Town, go check her out, she's amazing. It's, it's really good. I want to become friends with her because I want to become friends with everyone on YouTube, but I can't because I'm just a 14 year old on YouTube being a butt. So, with the background, I put in more trees than there was last time. I kind of actually paid attention to the sky because the sky is just black in the last one, which I made this one more blue because the sky at night isn't exactly black. I mean, it probably is as well, but like, I'm doing this around sunset, sunrise maybe, where she's like, yeah, I stayed up all night eating candy canes or something like that. So, yeah, I tried doing stuff in the background, but I'm like, no, that's too much work. I'm just gonna do these trees and have her be in a circle of Christmas trees, because that's what Blue would do. She would put circles around being like fairy circles and stuff, except with Christmas trees, and they'll be called Blue Trap Circles. <laughs> Because blue is weird. So, on the background, I didn't rush as much as I normally do. At least back then I normally rushed. So, the lights are a lot more better, they're a lot more smaller, and they don't look rushed. I really like how this background turned out. Compatible that I don't, I don't really think that I'm good at backgrounds. I probably am better than I think. I just don't do backgrounds that much, so I never know. So this was actually a good thing to do for me, put backgrounds, and you'll never get to see these ribbons, but I put ribbons in and actually shaded them unlike last time, and I thought they turned out pretty good. So that is the background, almost complete, just need to put on the stars, because what's a Christmas tree without a star on top, or an angel on top? Eh, we have an angel bear on top of ours because my mom was like... She loves bears, and she has like a ton of bear ornaments, and it's like, ooh. So now it's time to get on to Blue Trap. Honestly, I really have nothing really to talk about until the coloring stage, so I'm just gonna talk about random crap right now. First of all, leave a comment down below if you actually like my content, because I wanna know if you guys want me to change some things, like just suggest a few things, like should I do more animations? Should I do more, like, speed paint, speed paints with music, or should I do more voiceovers and stuff? I am gonna bring another thing onto my channel pretty soon, hopefully. So, we'll see how that goes. And also, while you're down there in the comment section, please comment the best thing you've gotten for Christmas this year, because... Or just a thing you got for Christmas this year. Because I really want to be engaged with my subscribers and my fan base, you know? Even though I'm not that big, I'm even surprised. And also, go check out my Instagram because I post my art on there all the time and sometimes I even post art that I don't post on YouTube and other little fun things like currently I have a casting call for voice actors and they're running out. So, yeah. That's, that's fun. Just go to just at just just at just blue trap and that's me right there you know yep anyways let's get back to it now we're at the coloring stage because coloring is fun i actually really enjoy coloring my least favorite thing about art is really the line art because i love doing the sketching and the line art it's just i always have to have it I always rush on the line art, kinda. You can kinda even tell I'm d I need to get better at that next year. Try not to rush as much on my line art. But, you know. So, 
we got white. We got a lot. My character is basically the same, except she doesn't have the splotches of colors coming from her eyes anymore because that was weird. I was 11 back then when I made her. Probably even 10. And now I've matured a bit, being like, yeah. I remember I first came up with her name, and she was human in fourth grade. And <laughs> the way I came up with her name is the cringiest way I've ever thought of. It's so freaking cringy, I'm not even gonna bring it up unless you want me to make a whole different video on that because I'm fine doing a story time on that. It's hilarious. So, yeah. And then another thing that I did is that I'm going in and getting the. <laughs> Gosh, I can't think right now. 20, 20 different cha style challenges, and I went to my MLP because I really liked how her rainbow was actually more pastel, so it wasn't that much of a neon bright as I normally have it, and I kind of liked that because I'm like, <laughs> no, no, this is gonna blind someone on the old one, so I'm like, ooh, the pastel looks really good, so I loved making it more pastel. It was very fun. It was beautiful. My eyes didn't really change, I just switched down where I shade and where I went. I guess the shines also kind of changed a bit, but morally it was just where I shaded. <laughs> it's... Well, and I put stars in her eyes because she's like, Oh yeah, I got a candy cane, because candy canes are the best. And then I really did shade this, like, hardcore man who was best shading that I've... <laughs> not really the best shading that I've ever done. I've done, like semi-realistic ones, and those are pretty good shadings. They might not be very good art, to, art pieces to me anymore, but they're pretty good shadings. So... <laughs> Anyways, I now sell shade, and what I totally recommend, this can be for anybody for, um, on Android, iOS, uh, anybody that just has a thing, so like computer, iOS, once again, anything. Um, go for Multiply as your lair thingy majig. I don't know what it is anymore. Um, your lair mode, and it really works. Like, go for a dark blue or just a dark color, and then you could lower down the opacity of that, and it works well for shading. I started doing this, like, not too long ago, and for Paint Tool Sci, which is the program I use, is it is shading. It does have a shade layer, but I love Multiply even more, because Multiply is good. So, I also recommend this on what I'm doing currently. It's making the lines the uh, just a darker color than the rest, and it really helps the character blend in, because with the black lines, it looks pretty sharp, and it's just going to poke it out. Unless, of course, you're in a dark scene, but in the light scene course that doesn't really happen that much so unless you use really light ones I mean for me it just the black lines are too harsh so yeah that's all it for this time and please like and subscribe to join the week <sighs> goodbye